hello and thank you for looking at my channel. So I'm going to be trying and testing all different Lemire products. So I'm all fresh face, all nice and cleansed. Um, so if you're interested in having a look at how these turn out, watch the video. So what products I'm going to be going through today. Firstly, I've got the Replenishing Oil Exfoliator. I'm going to be talking about that. Um, these are all um, samples. The Eye Bomb, the Eye Bomb Intense. Um, we've got the uh, the Moisturising Soft Cream, which everyone kind of raves about. Um, then I've got the Lifting Contour Serum, I'm going to be doing that, and the foundation, and I don't know if I just said actually the perfecting yeah. treatment. Um, so the one that I've used first thing this morning, um, I did use, um, it's called the Replenishing Oil Exfoliator. So I put that on, I'm just going to show you what this one actually looks like. Um, it's, you can see it kind of comes out like a yellowish, um, yellow orange I'd say, um, and then it's obviously got all the bits in it that you'd exfoliate. Now I actually use that like I say this morning but I did use it with water but it does say you can use it with um, dry skin and this here is what it comes out like so like I say really nice um, and cleansed at the moment. It does smell really really nice it reminds me of um, when you go in and um, have a spa treatment and they, they put certain things on your face. So it has left my skin feeling quite nice. So let's have a look at the next one. So I'm going to be talking to you about the Lifting Contour Serum. So I have used this one um, a few times and this here. I don't know if you can, there we go, yeah, it's got a nice gloopy consistency. So this here is 30 millilitres and it's 265 pounds. So we're going to put that on first. It feels quite nice and refreshing going onto the skin. And over time, it's supposed to help sort of contour the face. Now, honestly, you know, no blooming cream is going to change your face dramatically in a way of, you know, um, it is going to maybe sort of change the smoothness and everything else, but, you know, it's not a bloody facelift at the end of the day. What I like about this is after just a couple of minutes, I can feel... Um, not a tingly as such, not um, uh, a stinging or anything like that, but you do feel something going on underneath your skin. Um, you can kind of feel something working. It's like, oh, I, I, I can actually feel that. So, um, and with me, I just kind of think, okay, that's brilliant. It, obviously, something good is going on there. Um, I think probably over time that would make a massive um, difference but I do like that a lot. So the next one is the perfecting treatment so I'm going to use that next. It goes on underneath your moisturiser so let's have a look. Um, this here is £175 um, for 50 millilitres, not the little tiny pot that I just showed you. Um, it does smell quite fresh. Yeah. And I do have um, enlarged pores um, on my nose and I've got um, combination skin, so it feels nice. Mm. Like that. So next up, we're going to be doing the it's the uh, the moisturising soft cream. 
I just thought I'd just open that. Um, so that's £225 and you get 100 millilitres. So what you do, you get your soft cream out and you're supposed to put it between your fingers to activate it, the miracle, um, the miracle broth before applying to the face. And then you're supposed to press into the face and let the magic happen. Now, I actually think, personally, that this one, it does smell quite nice and clean, um, but it just reminds me of um, the Nivea. It does have a very similar smell to um, the Nivea soft cream, but obviously um, a massive difference in price, and this here is called the Miracle Broth. Now, I did put a load of stuff out, actually, when I first got the product, um, and I put it on my Insta stories, um, and a few people messaged me um, saying that it's supposed to be really good, um, it helps with scars, that kind of thing, and I was quite looking forward to trying it, and I have used it a few times, but I think probably this is another one that, over time, you would probably see the benefits of it really changing the appearance of your skin. Now, as you can see before I started the video, my skin at the moment does look kind of tired. Um, so I think I'm the best probably person to try out these um, ones. Then I've got here the Eye Balm Intensive. Now let me see how much that one is. It's £160 for 100 millilitres. Now this product is supposed to help with um, puffiness, underneath the eyes um, and to give you a more revitalised look. So the actual product, it comes out like a, um, a very, very, like a clay kind of colour. So I'll just put that along on the fingers. So I'm going to put this on the fingers because I do suffer um, from puffiness underneath my eyes. I put way too much out then. I'll just rub that in. Now, when I went in and I saw the lady at the mirror, she did put um, eye cream on, but she actually did it with a, a roller, um, which felt lovely, like a, a little silver roller ball. Just that alone felt so nice. So, this is the eye cream. And like I say, I do suffer in the eyes. So obviously I've now got all of the products on my skin and I'm now going to try the Soft Fluid Foundation. Um, the one that she matched me when I saw her was the Linen, which is number 13. Um, so I'm going to put this one on. Um, so this here is an SPF 20 foundation um, and it's £90 um, for the pot. So I'm going to show you. So I've got a very damp sponge here and I just want you to see. Let's put this on. Just kind of putting it here, there, everywhere. So I'm one of these people that um, I need my makeup to be done very quickly. And you can see the coverage this gives. Now straight away from it going onto my skin, it feels really, really lightweight. Now, I have actually worn this a few times out because I wanted to see what other people thought of my foundation, so I asked them, obviously close friends, and just go to random people, um, and I said, oh, what do you think of this new foundation that I'm wearing? 
And their actual response was, mm, didn't actually know you were wearing any. So I would say that this actually, it's just like wearing, like, doesn't feel like normal foundation um, in a way of just, to me, it matches the skin just so perfectly. Now, it's like I say, it is £90. It's a hell of a lot for a foundation, you know, to some. Um, let me just put it back on because I'm using it all to show. Um, it just feels like, as you can see, it doesn't really look like I've got much on at all. It feels really lightweight. Um, it doesn't have um, any horrible sort of any cakey spells. Um, something I do find with some foundations is as soon as you put it on, um, straight away it kind of enhances, if anything, the fine lines that you get around your eyes. Um, I don't really feel it does that. It just feels very, very, very natural. So that's the foundation all applied. I could probably do with taking it off my lips as well. And I can't wait to put some actual makeup on now. Um, now, I would say this would be perfect um, like for a wedding day, um, something when you just want something really, really natural. Um, to me, personally, I think I like a little bit more coverage. Um, but it does feel really, really lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Um, and it just has that, like I say, just that nice lightweight coverage. Um, it kind of nice and evens out the skin tone from what I can see. Um, like I say, people um, that I asked actually didn't think I was actually wearing any foundation, which was actually a bit of a bonus. Um, so that's me trying out some of the Lumiere products. I do have many more products that I'm going to try and test. Oh, one more thing, um, just while I say about the foundation, is as you get older, your appearance of the pores um, are a little bit more open. I'd say not with everyone, but they are with me. Um, I do find that this particular one um, is not too bad for that. But sometimes you can put um, foundation on, and if anything, it enhances that, um, which actually looks freaking terrible. So I really do hope that this video has helped you to see what the products are like on a very fresh face with no makeup on. By the way, I've got to say, I am being so brave right now by actually putting myself out there on the internet with no makeup on that is not something I would have ever done before um, in fact I've only started doing it on the last couple of days on my videos where I'm trying to show what it's like going on the before and after so you get to see a real true version of the actual makeup products so if you do like this video please do give it a thumbs up I think you should just for me being brave <laughs> Um, and if you could subscribe if you haven't already that would be amazing like I say just let me know if you've tried the Lumiere products how you got on with them or if you've any other um, products that you think are worth trying out then let me know in the comments below love to hear from you and I will see you on my next video take care bye